So Seth, so Seth, so th so Seth. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. <laughs> oh, buenos dias and happy, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Wow, what a great day to be alive. Hey, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm an equal. Equal, <laughs> equal opportunity. <laughs> Let me rewind that. Equal opportunity lover of all days. So, but today's Monday, so I'm loving life on Monday. Today, I wish I had my camera with me. What's a vlogger without a camera? It's like being an elephant without a trunk. I, I pulled that one out of nowhere. Yeah, today was kind of weird. I wanted to pull out my camera, but it just battery, no bueno. I went to the doctor's office. I got there about 9.45, appointment was at 10, was not seen or was not pushed into the doctor's office, like, you know, the, um, the, uh, the, the waiting room where they, you know, they see you. What, what the heck is that called? I'm in the room, I'm freezing my butt off. I can hear them in the other rooms talking to the, I mean, uh, like, I don't wanna hear what's happening with the people next to me. Is that how thin these walls are? But anyways, that's not even the point. That, I can get over that. I was so bored out of my skull. I got there at, like I said, 9.45. I got out of there just shortly after 12, like 12.02, so let's just call it noon an hour and 15 minutes and you might say hey that's nothing it was just a physical you go in you get checked i'm glad i almost left but i thought about all of you and how i talk about the importance especially men not because men are better than women because i love i don't want to say i love women but i do love women in general but i love my wife and my kids and everything else but <laughs> you get the idea that's so stupid of me i wanted to highlight the importance i, I always highlight the importance of men getting their checkups and I did it and I, I stayed in the pocket, but I almost left. I almost said, look at my labs, give me a call, tell me how everything is, but I'm out of here. I'm tired of waiting for you, doc. Doc, get your ish together, brother. I was almost also when he came in, I was like, I'm gonna be mean, I'm gonna be short because you should be in here talking to me. But I wasn't, I was cordial, I was nice as I should be. I'm sure he has reasons for which he made me wait or why he made me wait, darn it. It really took a little piece of my day, my day away. But guys, I want to report and I'm as healthy as an ox. For the most part, everything's good. Cholesterol is down. Blood pressure's good. Life is good, guys. And I am good because you're hanging with the Buenos Dias vlog. Let's go home. Let's get home right now and see what's going on. All is good on the home front. I am ready. I am locked. I am loaded. I'm not loaded, but I'm going to go for a run. <laughs> I just stop and pause and think about the things I say sometimes. It's kind of funny. All right, let's go for a run. Still got to fix this fence. It's back from a three, make that two mile run. And uh, it was pretty good. Felt good. Nice and hot out there. Nice and good, warm, hot run. Felt good. I was, I was happy with that. All right, remember, do what you can, when you can. Run, jump, hop, walk. Do what you do to get out there and make the heart beat beat. Time to uh, actually, you know what I need to do, guys? I need to get more at more of this pile. It's going down, it used to be like right here, and I've been working on it. Tomorrow's trash day. I gotta scoop some of that up. I know that's not the fun stuff, but it needs to be the done stuff. I'll see you guys in a bit. Boom. This is the update. Here's what I'm doing. I've invested zero hours in this show right here, The Bachelorette, but these fine folks are here for The Bachelorette finale. So what I have done, follow me over here, guys. I'm the cameraman, so this is how it works. I have made this little Bachelorette poster. You've got Brian, Peter, Eric, and no one. Here's us. We're picking Olivia's Olivia's choice, Paige's choice, Brisa's choice, Jackie, and Pablo. Again, I have watched zero hours of this, but I'm going to pick. And, oh yeah, that girl's name is Rachel, by the way. Um, what you got going on, Oli? Oh. You're going to vote already? Yeah. Oh, Oli's going for, so they're going to vote? Here we go, this is live voting. Oh, this is right voting, right voting right now. Oh, a heart. It's the bachelor. Ooh, yeah. so Oli goes with the Eric Rachel combination. <laughs> Paige, what you got? I'm gonna go with Brian. Oh, whatever, doesn't matter. Oh, Paige is going 
Rachel and Brian. <laughs> Brisa is going with the, oh, Pita. I know how Brisa votes. She just doesn't want either of those two, so she votes that one. I'm gonna do the same. I pick. I have no idea, so I'm gonna go with she is doesn't want anyone. She wants nobody. No love. No love for her. Right now, all of us have picked one of the people. Brian, Peter, Eric, or no one. How is Jackie gonna break the tie? Let's go. Jax, you ready? What you gonna do here? What you gonna do? Look at the choices. Who is Rachel gonna pick? Brian. Peter, Eric, or no one. No love, that's mine. This analyzation. Wait, I forget which one was. No. I think it's gonna be no one. Oh, you're with me. That's not how you find love, guys. Oh, Jack, so world. Jack says that is not how you find love on a TV show. I kind of agree. Who win Rachel pick? You know speaking English. <laughs> they found an error. Who will Rachel pick? Who win Rachel pick? I speak no English well. I know write English well. Imperfect like this vlog. <laughs> Let me fix this. It was so perfect. They're about an hour in on The Bachelorette. How's it going, guys? How's it going? Is it everything you think it was? No? Well, she's out of the race. She oh, she's already out? Yeah. There's two guys left. There's only two guys left. Who's left? Uh, Peter and Brian. Peter, Brian, and my pick. Nobody. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so what's going to happen is I'm leaving to do some work, and when I come back, um, maybe you guys could videotape like your final findings, all right? Final findings, okay. All right. I don't know, whatever that means. If I can put it in the vlog. All right. We gotta know, because I won't be here. In the vlog. All right, circle the winner. Keep us posted. Keep us posted. All right. I'm going, I'm down, I'm out of here. What the? How could they do that to us, Paige? Brian, woo! I'm a loser. <laughs> But I guess I'm okay with it. Just work-related stuff. Just was at this Starbucks. I don't know if you can see it there. But that Starbucks right there um, just closed. It's 11 p.m. And we got some, Wes and I got some work done. So that's good. Now I'm going home. Got a little update at home. And then um, I think we'll close the vlog up from there. Yeah, yeah. Let's go home. All right, guys. I'm back home. And the results are in. The Bachelorette, the Bachelorette, the Bachelorette finale, who will <laughs> Rachel pick? Brian, Peter, Eric, no one, and the winner was right there. Brian is the winner, Paige won it all. The rest of us are losers, but we gave it the old college try. That was fun, I didn't watch it. A minute of this Bachelorette. I'm glad for this happy couple, I hope they live happily ever after. All right guys, welcome back to Motivation Minute Mondays. It is back this week. And again, I'm referencing the book, Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss. Again, not sponsoring this book. Yeah, but if you wanna check it out, the link is down in the description below. Just a reminder about this new Monday segment. It's just a short way for me to give back to the YouTube community that's given me so much. And I just want to dialogue and, and be together in this effort. And again, just get stronger, whether it be in your YouTube channel or in your life in general. All right, 60 seconds on the clock. Here we go, Motivation Minute Mondays. Boom. Today, my inspiration and my motivation is Seth Godin. He is a best-selling author. He has 18 best-selling books. He's the owner of many successful startups and companies. He also has one of the most popular blogs in the world, Seth's Blog. Pretty simple, right? Go check it out. So Seth says that money is a story. If you have enough for beans and rice, can take care of your family and a few other things, you are set. Telling the money story that makes you happiest is the one that you wanna tell. Ideas. Generating enough bad ideas is gonna give you or actually equate to getting some good ones. Try moving to a different table. Stop being reactive. I talk about that every now and then. You don't always have to play the cards that are dealt. Move. You have more power than you really think you have. What are you gonna do with that power? To create something great, start small. Because small is achievable, small is risky. Because if you fail, everyone's gonna know it. 
He really just focuses on creating great content, period. Motivation Minute Mondays is over and so is this vlog. I wanna thank you for being with me. I wanna thank you for hanging out. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hang out with me some more. Like it if I gave you something that you liked. And remember to always sprinkle a little bit of fun in your life and also make your own rules. Sprinkle some of your own rules in your own life. And remember when you're having that fun though, remember to always keep it fun enough. We're gonna do this again tomorrow. Whoa! All right, all right, all right. Joke of the day. Did you hear about the guy that drank eight Cokes? He burped seven up. He burped seven of them up. Woo! Woo!